Ride with my demons, I can't take nothing back. Ride with my demons, then my dealers wins. I money make them do something, put them in a dress. What up, gang? <laughs> we back in uh, we back in the A with it. Yeah, we're uh, my hometown. A little groggy this morning. Didn't get to eat a lot, but uh, we're in zoo culture today. Here with the young OGs. How we doing, dude? Shit. Same old shit, different day. The most monotone hobby you could have is lifting, dude. <laughs> wake up, you relive the same life a thousand times. It's just wake up, eat the same damn meals. You got the same amount of sleep. You're drinking the same amount of water. Wait. You're on the same. Yeah, you're you're doing the yeah. same thing, but that's like autopilot. Yeah, you're on autopilot. Literally, but literally that's, autopilot. Yeah, that's when you make the most amount of gains, though, when you're on autopilot. Sure. Putting wake, in that formula. Wake up, eat, lift. Wake up, eat, lift. Wake up, eat, lift. People sleep on sleep. Yeah. Sleep is slept on for real. Eat a lot of food, lift heavy weight, and sleep. That's the formula. There you go. Very much. The pizza clips? No, no. So, oh well. Yeah. That those ones too. No, oh, I got you. The ones of you with your chest, bro. Yeah, Tommy looks too. crazy this day. When she's like, dude, you should wax, wax your chest. Dude, she waxed my chest, bro. That's, I that's jumped. Just... I was, I literally was like, oh, oh shit. Like, it felt like there was like fire ants Isn't on me, that dude. Bad. Oh my yes, God. Yes, that, that shit awesome. hurts. Insane, you know? Yeah, that shit's crazy, Jesus bro. Christ. <laughs> they, they missed it. Oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even see it. Let me see this shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> Shredded cunt, holy shit. <laughs> we about to pull up to, we about to pull up in the in the Honda Civic. Come on, man. My little baby girl. Come on, man. She cute, it's okay. Uh, I normally carry my pre-bottles in my bag, and I kept this one in my bag, it's the Bazooka Bubblegum, and uh, the lid cracked, so now every time I... <laughs> my Dude, oh my god, <laughs> The wind just blew bro. that shit straight into me. Rip, my bad. You're fool. chilling, you're chilling. Um, every time I pull this out, and like in a gym, people always think I'm like... Crack. Taking some kind of <laughs> weird <laughs> supplements. You know, my dad was taking like 26 like, <gasps> Angel dust, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you do a good pump? Woo! I made a video about this on TikTok a little bit ago. It literally smells like Whoa. It does. Hey, bro. El Citrulli, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> like, I never like, I, you know what? Don't even put this part <laughs> <He's> like, in. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, not I know. Yeah, just, that shit out. What's going yeah, on here? Like, you can smell bro, it. no, like, stop yeah. pulling me, bro. So no, this is, this is not going in. Open Fuck it. Dude, it just smells bad. A part of this will go in, bro. Dude, this is bad. He's like, associated, man. This smells disgusting. I said open it. Don't smell it. It smells bad, bro. Damn, it does smell bad. This shit does right. not smell right. It just don't smell right. Chlorine, kind of. That's a better. That's, yeah, you that's a say better that in comparison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you already know. Today we're rocking that bazooka bubblegum rice pre in the white Gila mix. Yeah, we're gonna get driving. Dude, this is the gum I was telling you about. The Faleem gum. It's like Turkish gum. It's super hard to chew. Oh, the bodybuilding gum? Well, it's like well, it's, it's like to the help shit, your the jaw. That you, like, oh. Yeah, and you, ch I chew it. Like, yeah, one to help my jaw. I'll is literally it chew it. A little bit. It doesn't really taste like anything. It's like plastic. I'll chew it until my jaw is like sore. And when I'm like pushing really hard, because for a minute, my dentist was like, bro, you're starting to get like grit on your teeth. Like you're like fucking grinding them down. This is literally like a mouth guard, but it's gum. Yeah. But it's that fucking hard to chew. Or you get them on Amazon. You get them on Amazon. <laughs> Code T-Spall. <laughs> yeah, no text on the drive. Gross uploading like a full YouTube video while I'm driving. <laughs> your fan base is loyal. You got some loyal ass motherfuckers yeah, out there. Super cool. I have a lot of respect for my fans too. They've like pulled through during times that I've needed them too. Like when my Instagram got taken down, uh, 1,500 new followers on my account in one day. I remember when I met you, you were trying to hit on Young LA. All the comments were at Young LA, at Young LA, at Young LA. Yep. And I was like, damn, dude, this fool's got some Boy. good dudes. And you didn't even have any followers back then. It was like. What <laughs> Arnold be going like? Yeah, Bro, holy fuck, I shouldn't have taken my pre already. That lady in that corner looked over and was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like right when he yelled to him, she looked over and was like, what the fuck? We're here, ladies and gentlemen. About to be insane. I wonder who's here. Yeah, but when I put a watch here, like, this is how I change my, how I train. Really? Yeah, like a year ago. That's so cool, you. bro. I appreciate that. Oh. I love meeting you guys. That's so cool, bro. <laughs> that shit's awesome. Get some up close shots. Shit highlights. 
No, Tommy was going in. I was like, get some B-roll for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry in advance for that bathroom. Dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, seriously, dude, like, I fucked that shit up, and that chick just went, I feel bad, bro. <laughs> She's gonna be like, dude, what the fuck, dude, and it's all that beef and rice. <laughs> Fat. Bro, they have one ply toilet paper. Dude, it's one ply! Shit was pissing me off, dude. Right. Bradley, give it a toilet thin paper. Ones? No, the, they're thin, dude. Just get to the workout, dude. Come on. Is that what? Who's the vlogger, you or him? Pardon? Me. Well, you do? Well, well, technically, I but I, I got something you guys can video. Sure. Yeah. We're gonna see who's stronger. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, the grip strength test. It's always a good one. Yeah, that's crazy. Yes, fuck with it. Thank you. Really? All right. Said not by the leg. One forty-two point four pounds. Second one, two, three. There you go. One thirty-one point two. Yours is one forty-two, right? Yeah. I told you my grip strength. Bro, I'll shit. see. I'll see my left hand because my left hand's grip is actually stronger than my right. Your left. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> 158. Holy oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Your left is stronger? My left is stronger. Mine is not stronger. Uh, What'd you get? 129.2. Oh, this one's better. Look, 141.4. 141.4. I think the first one I just ripped it like really quick. I feel like 136. Right? Damn. Bitch. The first one was. That's still really fucking good. Hey, but believe it or not, that's still really fucking good. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> so if you go like twice in a row, your second one will always be weaker. You gotta wait like a few minutes. I'm not like, still <laughs> yeah, you like, well, I gotta like. I'm gonna go again with my left hand and see if I can beat 160. I don't know which hand's stronger though, so because some there's whichever is your dominant hand. Let's get it, Charlie. Yeah. What'd you get? Nah, 97. 97. Let me try the other one. Let me try the other one. That's just hard, low key. Yeah. I already won. Two, three, one. Two, three. There you go. What'd you get? 104. 104. See my left hand stronger. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. It's garbage. <laughs> it's stronger too. Garbage, That's fucking sick. How much you weigh? Uh, like 133. See. How much do you weigh? I'm 197. Yeah, or 193. I'm 187 right now. That's <laughs> crazy, dude. You look great for 187. Thanks. What's your name? I'm Cass. Cass Tommy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. That song Immortals that we were playing in the car by M MQX. I want that shit to be. What's up, bro? Now's the go, bro. We're honest guy, super down to earth, super chill. The first time that we met was at the uh, Zoo Culture opening. He was just like one of the only people that was just like willing to have a conversation with me because my name wasn't known. Super sweet guy, super cool. 
very stand up. I didn't want to just film the conversation. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I, I walked up to him expecting him to not remember who I was, and he just remembered. I was like, well, that made me feel good. Oh, dude, I don't even need my headphones for this set. I know, it's just loud as fuck, but good music. Uh, I watch the chair. That shit was fun as fuck. I'm like losing energy fast, bro. Fuck. How are you? 6'3? 6'4? Yeah, That's crazy. How much you weigh? Uh, like 220. Like 220? Yeah. What's your name? Jackson. Jackson, yeah. Tommy. Yeah. What's your name? Nick. I Nick? watch your shit. Tommy. That's not you. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Nice, yeah. You making up money to have a camera guy? Yeah, no, it's, it's hey, finally nice. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. You mind if I get a quick interview with the author? Yeah, I'm gonna dip. Let's do it right now. Okay, cool. So if you had one uh, thing, message, you know, to tell your audience, what would it be? Man, that's hard to, to boil it all down to one thing, yeah. but I think probably it's because of, I'm imagining the kind of audience you have is thinking about like a lot of people watch this stuff now and they're like, they want to kind of do what you're doing. That's why a lot of people watch this content because they like the lifestyle. Right. And I think so many people try to do this nowadays and that's great. I just think, and I always get the same question is how do you do it, right? So I'm going to boil it down to this just for this, this video specifically. Not that this is the most important thing in the world, even though in a sense it kind of could be is doing this shit because like it really means something to you right and if you don't know what it means to you right now it's okay like you have to kind of keep going forward and like trying to find the things that you like and find your way in it but a lot of people do stuff they do it just because they see you be good at it or they see me be good at it you're gonna you're gonna hit a wall at some point when like you don't have the inspiration keep going because like maybe you were you were acting on your actions were just based on someone else's, right? Like if I saw you do well and I'm like, well, he does this and does this and he's like this, so I'm gonna copy it, right? Right? Or he does this and that and he posts like this, so I'm gonna copy it. You're gonna hit a wall, right? Because it's not genuine of yourself. Right. So if you could figure out like why you really give a fuck about whatever it is, whether it's being a content creator or influencer or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just whatever you're doing in your life, you have to have like a real connection to why you're doing it. Right. And that connection is in relationship to yourself and not everyone else and what everyone else is doing. So whatever that is, you don't have to know it, it's hard because a lot of younger kids will watch this and be like, well, I don't know what that is. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Keep trying to figure it out. That's part of knowing what it is. Yeah. And then just once you figure that out, everything you do is aligned with that, then you'll never skip a beat, right? Because right? when it gets hard, you'll be like, but, it, but it's important to me. Not like it gets hard and like, I'm still watching that guy to see what I should do next. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's one of the most important concepts, I think, is like being yourself and just like... That's one thing that I do try to push pretty hard um, with using the platform that I have is trying to explain to people that um, content creation is so much more than just making videos. It's 
do it, putting out things that if I were still consuming content at, as much as I used to be, I would enjoy watching. Putting out stuff that I'm really happy and satisfied with. And I, I tell people that are uh, trying to start creating content, like just do stuff that makes you happy because you'll never have the, you'll never lose the drive to keep creating. Yeah, well look, I'll give you perspective straight up. Right. When I started this, there wasn't people doing this and I was right. like, oh, I'm gonna be like Bradley Martin and do what he's doing. Right. I was just doing shit that I did in my real life that right. made me happy that like I was actually doing. I was a trainer and I was having my clients and I was just posting my progress because the gym made me happy. Right. And then this became a thing now that like everyone can do and right. see, but I didn't do it being like, I want to be like that guy. I did it because it was something that genuinely made me feel fulfilled and purposeful, right. like in my real life. And then I was, just, I, was just, I was just basically shooting the progress. So my connection to it was always real. Like you said, like you're doing it because you actually care about right. it. That's the key. I didn't do it thinking like, I'm gonna make money. No one made money. There wasn't right. like, oh, you're making money. I'm, I mean, I'm doing shit for like 12 years. So it's like, I didn't know what was happening till like I was a part of it happening. Right. And I'm like, oh shit, everyone, you see it now you go, oh, I can do that, that's a goal. But I did it just giving a fuck. And I talked a lot, like I was talking to Chris on the Full Sand Pod, mm -hmm. it was like the same thing. You just love it. And if you really love it, then no matter what gets in the way, you keep going. Right. And you don't go, oh, this is too hard. I don't have what I want now because that guy has this and I don't have that. And people compare like, oh, that kid's 20 and I'm fucking 24 and he has more than I do. And right. they hurt. And it's like, yo, it's, you can't, none of that matters. It's yeah. like, does it actually matter to you? And if you, like, like you said, making a content that you actually relate to, something you actually enjoy, other people are going to love and hate you no matter what. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how you act, like people are going to say shit. It doesn't matter. Right. As long as you're genuine to yourself, that's the key. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree more. I appreciate your time, yeah. Absolutely. Always, yeah, man. Thanks. Yeah, always ask me. Good always. to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Good workout. Got some, uh, got some pretty solid uh, talking content. Got a little bit of, a little bit of pumping, a little bit of posing, a little bit of flexing. Uh, yeah, other than that, there was a, uh, Super fat restock today, Young LA. Um, some pump cover joggers came back. The elemental tees came back. Some of the classics, some of the favorites. Um, I got prep vlog number one coming out. I know I was gonna say it was coming out this Wednesday, but likely it will be out next Wednesday. Bro, uh, holy or this, shit, I guess I'm for you guys it would be the upcoming this upcoming Wednesday <laughs> um, because I need to get it produced and out. I gave up, Charlie. I'm sending it to you, bro. But. Uh, yeah, how'd you guys? How'd you guys like the workout, bro? Dude, Jordan, I, I, your... I got a good fucking lift. That was a good pump. What was like, your, I kind of uh... zoned in because of these, bro. Hey. These literally made me zone the fuck in. I was in my own little hard style Low edit. Key, bro. Was fun. Like, not gonna lie, they're like four hundred or five hundred bucks, but they're kind of worth Jordan, it. What would you think of Zoo, bro? It was a, a great time, friends. great opportunity. Um, kind of learned a lot, and I felt like working out with Tommy, the Tommies. I was able to push myself a little bit, you know, but uh, it's just the beginning, man. So. Yeah, I look no forward lie. to. We're gonna blow him the. Fuck I've been up putting, I've been putting him on some content games, especially for TikTok and Instagram, like. Some he got such a good physique. Plus he has good physique, so. Well, I just started. Hey, his shoulders, right? dude, yeah, I was about to say, dude, his shoulders are so fucking big. <laughs> All right, so. I was watching him do like some like poses like that, and like. What's your? No what's one looks aesthetic right in that. My at is J A Y D O N O R T I Z Jaden Ortiz, Instagram, TikTok. Same shit. I think Snapchat too. Hell We're gonna yeah, get him on Snapchat, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, everywhere Everything. else. But. T Small Army, do your thing, bro. Go check out Jaden Ortiz, bro. You're gonna blow him up soon. Real quick. Trying to get him out. But other than that, I absolutely fucking love you, beautiful people. I'm constantly surprised by your guys' like amount of support. Good fans, bro. No matter what, bro, Good like if, even if I post a really shitty video and it's just like a couple minutes long, like you guys still like show love because it's something that I make out that I make. And uh, Tommy's followers though, like they're they're really diehard. Like, yeah. They no, show I, love. I, I love you yeah. guys. No, literally, that's why I call you guys T-Ball Army because fucking you guys are an army. You guys are, you guys are awesome. But uh, with that being said, I uh, love get you meal guys. In. We gotta get a yeah, meal. Yeah, we gotta get a fucking. Gotta get some fucking meals go in. Don't get skip some your meal. Calories in. Don't beef and rice. So listen to me. Beef and rice. Beef, rice, protein, chips, and eggs. Trust. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, yogurt. Formula. Yeah. All that good shit. Absolutely love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. And uh, shit, I guess I'll see you in the next video. We out. Pause the B-roll. This motherfucker just hit 50k on Instagram.